Hi, thanks for stopping by Angel Gilding. I'm Alex, and today we partner with our friend Rich Golish over at Mustang Connection to show you how you can re-silver your mirror from your vintage car. So you can go ahead to Rich's channel, check out part one. He showed you taking that old silver backing off. Today I'm going to walk through how to reapply a new silver backing. Here's the mirror, and as you can see, once you take that silver off, it's pretty much a plain piece of glass. So I did go ahead and put some markings on the back here, just uh, mark down some B so I know that's the back that I'm working on here. So right now it's just plain glass. And for this process, we're going to be using our mini silver kit. We'll go through those components as they come up. But also there's some other things you'll want to have on hand. As you can see, I've put some paper down here on my bench and I've got gloves. Um, those are to protect the bench and to protect my hands. The chemicals are no more hazardous than something you might have, you know, under your sink but it can stain your hands. So you want to keep that in mind. And also the oils in your hands can affect the, the ability of the chemicals to deposit on the glass. You want to have plenty of distilled water. You might know it as deionized water on hand. That's something you can get at the grocery store. I'm just using this plastic cup here to help me pour that water. Some paper cups, a nice soft sponge. I'm using my European sponge here. You want to make sure that it's something that doesn't have any abrasive to it timer with the second hand, and then a bucket for waste treatment. So let's go ahead and get started on the process. First step and one of the most important steps here is cleaning. So I'm going to just get this wet with some warm tap water. Wipe down the surface. And then to clean it, I'm going to be using my concentrated powder glass cleaner. This cleaner is nice because it doesn't leave any kind of residue behind. And it is pretty concentrated, so I only need a little bit. And just working in a, a gentle kind of circular motion, I'm cleaning the surface of the glass, making sure to take my time and see that all the surface is completely clean. That's gonna make the best possible scenario for all of my chemicals to adhere properly to the glass. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off with some more warm tap water. Okay, now once I've done with, with rinsing with tap water, I'm going to go behind it just with some of that distilled water, rinsing the surface. And what I'm looking for here, and, and a way for me to know that it's really clean, is the water is sheeting off of the glass. So it's really just running right down the glass. It's not beating up at all, which means that my chemicals will run right over the glass as well. So I'm ready to go. Now for this process, we're going to be using our 3D bath technique. So there's one other item here that, that you'll want to have on hand, and that's just some plastic trays. I've got three of them, and these trays are going to be used to, to hold the glass and help me to wrap the chemicals back and forth over the surface of the glass. So I'm going to start first with one tray for tin, then I'm going to be using two other trays, and you'll see those a bit later in the process. So as I mentioned, the first process here is the tin for silver. So tin for silver is a pretty concentrated solution, and um, you'll only need two milliliters. Okay, and I'm gonna put that into my 16 ounce cup here, and then dilute it out with some of the distilled water. And then I want total two fluid ounces of distilled water and the tin. Got that. Okay, I've got my tin ready. I've got my timer on hand. I'm going to pour the tin solution here over the surface of the glass and start my timer. And then you can see I'm just going to rock it gently over the glass. Now you're not looking for anything in particular except to see that the solution is running over the surface of the glass. You're not going to see any kind of change to the surface. It's going to stay clear the whole time. And you only need to do this process for about 30 seconds, gently moving it the whole time. Okay, there's 30 seconds. And I'm going to take my next tub here. This is my rinse tub. I'm going to pick up my glass. I don't need a tin anymore, so I'll put that to the side. 
right? And then with some more of my distilled water, just going to rinse the surface off. Now, about 90% of the time or more, I would say, when a person has a hard time making a perfect mirror finish, it's because of one of two reasons. One is the cleaning, that the surface of the glass was not clean enough, and the other results in issues with the tin. Either there's not enough of the tin for silver adhering to the glass, or it wasn't rinsed off well enough. So you always wanna make sure that you take your time and use plenty of that distilled water the, the tin for silver that I need has already adhered to the glass, even though it's not something you can see. I know that it's there, so I can go ahead and rinse away, knowing that my surface is good to go. Okay, and here comes my third tub. This is the one for the silver chemicals. And there's three parts to my silver here. There's silver solution, activator, and reducer. And the key to these is making sure that you're using them in equal ratios. The amount that you use is going to depend on the size of the piece of glass that you're mirroring. I'm going to take two of my paper cups here. And for my silver solution, I think about, um, let's say 15 milliliters is going to work well for the size of glass I have here. So I'm putting that silver solution here, measuring it out, and putting this into my first cup. Next up, the silver activator. Once again, equal ratio, so 15 milliliters. And the silver activator goes in the same cup as the silver solution. And then my third one is my silver reducer. And yep, you're right, 15 milliliters, equal ratios, measured out here. And this one I put here in my second cup. Okay. have my timer ready and now I'm going to do what we call boxing and that's just gently mixing the chemicals between the two cups. There we go. And then just like I did with the tin, I'm just going to pour it over the surface here and start my timer. Now you probably noticed there that the solution when it was, you know, in the bottles is, is pretty much a colorless solution, but I'm already seeing here, I'm not sure if you can see there, the color change. My, my glass surface has turned dark. It's looking a bit shiny. I'm just slowly rocking the chemicals back and forth. Okay, about a minute or so has elapsed now. And what you can see, you saw originally my glass was pretty dark. And now you can see it's starting to get that shiny, silvery finish. It might have a slight yellowish appearance to it. One thing you want to keep in mind, when you're looking down at your glass in the back, you're actually looking at what's going to be the back of the mirror because this is the part that we're going to be coating later with our backing paint and you'll be looking through the glass on the other side. So what I see here is not going to be what the finished product is, but it gives you an idea of how it's depositing. I'm making sure that my solution is still working its way gently over the glass. And I'm going to just keep gently rocking it back and forth. We recommend that you let the chemicals run over the glass for about three to five minutes, um, but you'll get a feel after doing this maybe a few times of what looks best for you. Okay, so it's been about four minutes here. It's kind of dark, almost a little green in color here, and I can see a nice reflective finish on my glass. The chemicals have done their work. Pretty happy with that. I'm going to pull it out of the bath now. And now I can see here that on the back of my mirror, the part that I wasn't silvering, that some of the silver did adhere there. And that's perfectly fine. Um, you could certainly use a vinyl mask to protect the back of this. You would just cut it down to size and apply it before you began the process. But I wanted to show you what happens if you're just using the mini silver kit, um, how that would look. And you'll see that it just requires a little bit more cleanup. So, I can see here that I've got a really nice, brilliant silver mirror finish. I'm very happy with that. But say when you did this process, you thought maybe it was a little bit of a thin coat, you wanted something a bit more brilliant, then you can go ahead and repeat the silver process. You don't need to do the tin for silver again. So by all means, do a second coat if you'd like. I'm going to take my rinse tub here and then rinse off with some more of the distilled water. 
So now I'm going to just tilt this to dry. I'll actually just tilt it here and I want to allow this to dry completely. So I let that dry for several hours. The surface is completely dry and what I actually used to speed up the process was a fan and a very low heat. Um, it doesn't need to be anything too hot but just so you know that's an option for you. And what we need to do now is paint the back of the mirrors. And we're using our mirror backing paint and just a, a disposable foam brush. And then just like anything else, you're going to be painting it gently over okay. the surface. So I've got all those edges that seals up my silver coat nicely. And then once again, I'm just going to tilt this to dry. Once it's all dry, we'll be working on that front side. Like I was telling you about cleaning up that silver surface with my mirror remover. As I let this dry overnight, you want to make sure that you've allowed sufficient time for the backing paint to fully dry. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and clean the front side of my mirror. It may be tempting to do this once you've done the silver layer, but you really want to make sure that you do the backing paint first because that's what's going to protect the silver that you want to keep on the back of your mirror. And I'm just going to use my mirror remover. This is another product that comes in that mini silver kit. And I'm using some of these disposable shop towels. Just want to make sure that the towel you're using is something nice and gentle that's not going to scratch the surface. And it's a ready to use product, you don't need to dilute it in any way. Just putting some on a paper towel and wiping it down. If you can see here that is actually coming off pretty quickly. And then also if you notice in any areas that maybe the backing paint creeped over to the front side, you've got a couple of options and how you want to deal with that. Um, you can use some of our extra fine pumice for that or you could also use a flat edge razor. So I see as I'm wiping it off here, I do have a little section here. You want to be careful when you're using this razor that you're going gentle and very flat onto the glass. You don't want to chip your glass in any way. But just by doing that, that looks good. I've gotten that spot of backing paint off here. Um, and then once you've got all of this excess silver off of the front, then you're just going to go ahead and, and rinse it off. Um, and you can do that just with plain tap water and then make sure that it's dried completely and you'll be all set. So thanks for checking out the video. If you have any questions, please leave the comments below. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe for some future videos. Thanks.